So if you clicked on this video, chances are you are considering some type of facial hair. Or specifically, you're probably curious about whether you should rock a full-on beard or just a goatee. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the differences between a beard and goatee and overall the pros and cons between these two different types of facial hair. So let's jump into it. So real quick, before we get into it, please be sure to hit like and subscribe. You're gonna wanna stay in tune for all this content that we've got coming your way. So how do you define a beard? Typically, a beard is defined as the growth of hair on the chin and the lower cheeks of a man's face. And that's important, especially when we talk about the hair on the cheeks, simply because goatees in comparison do not have that. A goatee, as you probably have guessed, gets its name from a goat. Goats have long strands of hair that grow around and underneath their chin leading to what we consider the goatee kind of look. So real quick, what are the pros and cons of these different types of facial hair? And which one, based on these pros and cons, should you choose? Let's talk about beards first. So one of the first pros of having a beard are the style options. Because beards incorporate a lot more area of your face with a lot more hair, you can theoretically style it in many more ways than you could with a goatee. One of the other pros of having a beard is it covers facial flaws. A lot of men are maybe unhappy with the skin around their neck or maybe they don't particularly like their jawline or something like that. And a beard gives you a way to grow out the hair enough to shape your jaw to make it look the way you like. Now goatees don't really do this because goatees expose a lot of the skin under your neck and around your jaw. Now the last pro that we're gonna talk about when it comes to beards today, and this is actually just a pro relative to having a goatee, and that is Beards require less maintenance, typically. Sure, they still do require some maintenance. I mean, you have to trim it. You have to make sure it's healthy and hydrated with some like beard oil or beard balm. And occasionally you may want to style it with some beard wax or something like that. But it doesn't require the constant shaving that goatees require. Goatees in that sense are almost like a mixture of having a beard and being clean shaven in that you do need to trim the hair around the goatee, but you also need to shave the blank areas on the sides of your face. So now what are the cons of having a beard relative to having a goatee? The first one is not everyone can grow a beard the way they want. Beards require a lot of really good dense hair growth, especially on the sides of your cheeks, where typically men don't experience the most dense hair growth. Now, if you suffer from really patchy areas in your beard or anything around your cheeks, chances are it's gonna be difficult for you to grow a full beard, probably the full beard that you want. The next problem that beards often have is it can cause skin problems. Now, not always, but the fact that the hair covers a larger area of skin on more sensitive areas like your cheeks, there's the potential there for some excess dryness if you're not moisturizing enough, or even ingrown hairs or anything like that that can cause irritation. And the last con about having a beard that I can think of relative to goatees is that beards just take longer to grow. The hair in the areas of a goatee actually grow pretty quickly. It's the hair on your cheeks that actually takes some time to fill in. And this can cause a beard to take a lot longer to grow and cause it to look fuller than simply having a goatee. Now, what are some of the pros of having a goatee? Well, one of the pros of having a goatee is in direct contrast to one of the pros for having a beard. And that is, if you do happen to enjoy your facial features, maybe you like how strong your jawline is, goatees will expose that jawline for you and for everyone to see. Now, if you maintain it right, a goatee can also broaden the appearance of your chin, which is a more masculine image. One of the other pros of having a goatee, and this may be a pro or con depending on what you think about it, but goatees are typically more unique, more noticeable. Beards, because they're more common nowadays, are becoming less unique, but goatees are still a very much standout style. And the last pro that we're gonna talk about when having a goatee is that it's really good for people who have trouble growing full beards. Like I was mentioning earlier, people who have patches on their cheeks, in fact, my cheeks don't fill in exactly well the way I would like them to, but people who have major patches on their cheeks who have very hard times growing a beard can and probably still likely grow a very good goatee. So now what are the cons of having a goatee? The first one, like I mentioned earlier, is that goatees require more maintenance. It's like combining the, the maintenance of a beard with the maintenance of a clean shaven look because you're gonna have to shave to keep your skin clean shaven in those areas. But you're also gonna have to trim the goatee and shape the goatee the way you want, just like you would with a beard. The other con of having a goatee, and this kind of goes along with how goatees are unique, 
but goatees are also not considered as in style or as in fashion as beards are nowadays. Now this may be a moot point just because styles change, trends change, and fashions change. So it may still become fashionable very soon. But just keep in mind that they're not going to be considered as fashionable as beards are now. And the other con of having a goatee relative to having a beard, but not relative to being clean shaven, is having less styles. If you have a beard, you can probably grow out or try any style you want. You can have a super long beard, or you can have a really short stubble beard, or you can even rock a goatee beard combo where you just shave the hair on your cheeks and under the sides of your jaw here a little shorter than the hair in front. That being said, if you have just a goatee, there's less for you to work with and less styles for you to choose. So hopefully in this video you discovered a bit more about what goatees are, what beards are, how you can define them, and which one might be right for you based on your ability to grow a beard and what you're looking for in terms of style, maintenance, and the kind of facial hair you enjoy. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, again, please hit like and subscribe. We'd love to create a community here at The Volt Channel, and we'd love to answer your comments if you have any questions or comments about goatees or beards or any kind of facial hair down in the comments section. So thank you again for watching. We will see you in the next one.